Steve from Home and Field Dogs. Today we're going to do some obedience training with some nine-week-old Brittany puppies. Now there's lots of methods that will get you the same result. I prefer this lure reward training for young puppies that we're going to show you. It was uh, invented by Dr. Ian Dunbar. I'll leave links to his training stuff down in the video comments. Uh, but you have to remember dogs are resilient and for the most part they can overcome our own stupidity and our bad choices. Even training with compulsion, fear, intimidation, those things will all work for a dog. There's just better ways. Clicker training, for example, also works really good. It just takes really, really long, and I don't really have the patience for it. But positive reinforcement is definitely the way to go, especially with a soft breed like these French Britneys. Negative reinforcement generally is not a good system to work with Britneys. Prong collars, shock collars, compulsion, force, those kinds of things will really shut a dog down. So we're going to use lure reward training. Basically that means we're going to lure a puppy into the behavior we want with a tasty treat and then reward the puppy for that behavior with the tasty treat. For this I like to use hot dogs, but I'm using trained treats. I don't ever like anything that's a dry biscuit type treat because the dog takes so long to chew it, they need some water, it takes time to swallow, and then they've totally lost their attention span. Something meaty, moist, fatty that goes down quick uh, gets them right back on track for learning again. Hot dogs are relatively healthy for them. They need protein and fat anyway. Uh, and because they're meat and moist, uh, the dogs really, really love them. Buy whatever's the cheapest, buy what's on sale. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I like this cool little hot dog slicer I got off Amazon. No, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get sponsored by anybody. But it's cute if you're gonna have a hot dog cutter anyway. So check it out, you just put your hot dog in here. This one's a bun length, so it goes a little bit long. Just squish him down on himself, makes these nice little pieces. They're perfect training size, all cut up. For that, spend time in the kitchen with a knife. I put those in my little treat bag. This treat bag I've happened to have for like 20 years. I really like it. Uh, also, Life's Abundance makes some really great training treats. We use those a lot of time too. But this will be great for these puppies for a first session. It has to be a high value reward, something they really, really want. And I teach my dogs uh, to have very high food drive uh, through the way we feed them from the time they're babies. And I breed for high food drive because I want to be able to use food and treats to motivate the dog's behavior. So the basic idea of what we're going to do, and it's going to go real fast, so I'm trying to tell you ahead of time. Uh, I'll try to talk as we're doing it, but it's more important I pay attention to the puppy and the timing. But I'm going to use the hot dog to lure a puppy into position into a sit, a down, and a stand. And we don't do them in order over and over and over where puppies learn patterns, they don't learn behaviors. So we're basically going to lure the puppy with the treat. When it gives us the right reward, we're going to let the puppy have the treat. And then uh, we'll extend the lesson for as long as the puppy's attention span is, which for these puppies may be as short as 30 seconds. When the puppy no longer wants to train, we've got ourselves against a wall because we have to end on a good note. And if we've got bad behavior going on, we have to work through that till we get back to good behavior. So it's important to kind of watch your puppy's attention span, which may be at this age really, really short. Like I said, 30 seconds to a minute and a half, uh, we're for sure not gonna have a 15 minute lesson with one puppy. But we can have those short lessons several times a day. That's how you get faster results. All right, this is Ruby from our 410 litter. Uh, she's a nine week old female, Brittany. She hasn't had any obedience yet. You've seen her other videos learning loose leash walking, off leash walking, etc. But we've never done formal sit, stand, down. Uh, we're going to do a stand command because that's going to be the foundation of a woe. We do sit and down because it's kind of impossible to live with dogs without teaching them those commands. So I'm holding the hot dog in my hand to get her interested in what I'm doing first. And then... We're going to... And let her eat a piece of it so she knows what's going on. Then we're going to lure her into position. So we go into a sit. And again, we don't want to do a pattern. We want to keep mixing it up. I just repeat the word. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby. And I'm going to let her have a piece that's kind of the direction we're headed. And then from here, I'm going to go to a stand. Stand. Good stand. 
let her have that piece. And we're going to go to a down. And the down's a little bit tricky, but we want them to down on their front end first, not their back end. That's why we don't go directly down from a sit every time. Down, down, good down. Down, good down, good girl. Back to a stand. Good stand. You see how fast they pick this up. And a sit. Good sit, Ruby. Good sit, good sit, good sit. And we let it go free for a minute. And we do the whole thing again. Let's start with the down. Down. Good down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Let's do a sit. Right here. See? Right here. Right here. See, she's got food right. Sit. Right. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Good girl. Good girl. Stand. Good stand. Down. See how fast they catch up. Good girl, sit. Good. And she has no idea, stand, what the words mean at this point. She just knows what I'm doing with my hands and the hot dog. But for now, that's good enough. It's creating association. Down. Good down. Stand. Good girl, down. Good girl, sit. Good girl, stand. Good girl, down. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. This is also the best way to teach focused off leash healing, but that'll be another lesson. Sit. Almost, you almost did it. Sit. I'm trying to wean her away from the the lure as much. Sit. Yes. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. And stand. Good stand. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Over here. It's right here. Good girl. Show me down. Yes, good down. And stand. Good stand. Down. Good down. She's still really interested in the game, so I'm going to keep her going a little bit longer. And the reason she's really interested is she has really high food drive. Uh -huh. Good sit. Good sit. Stand. Good sit. Uh -uh. Off, off. When a dog jumps up on you, you don't use the D-O-W-N command because that means something different. We use off. Stand. Stand. Down. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Another one. All right. Here we go. Do you remember sit? No. Off. 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 Sit. Off. Sit. Off. Sit. Off. Sit. Good sit. Stand. Sit. Stand. Down. Good down. Smile for the camera, sweetheart. You did so good. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. And we'll stop right there because she wants more and it's a good spot in her training.